Right, uh, Shalom, my king. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give our praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, Double Line City Elders, the Apostles of Great Millstone, and Ruin Teach Well. And must peace, safety, and blessings to the Lord's elect, whoever they may be. They have been scattered throughout the four winds, pushing this truth in sincerity and the diligence. All right, uh, his brother Lord, is the brother lawyer from Great Millstone, Charles Louisiana Branch. Come back again with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Shai. And as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the Lord's elect, whoever it may be. Okay. So, hey, man, you know, without further ado, we'd like to get into this lesson. You know, uh, basically touching upon um, the cares of this world, you know, will uh, cost you, you, you your salvation if you let it. All right. Because in these times, all right, we get it real quick. In these times that we're in, Satan desires to sift us. All right. Satan only desires to sift the elect in these times that we're in. All right. Uh, let me see. All right. Only the elect for the simple fact that we're two thirds. Two thirds are already on the left hand side. OK, you get it. All right. This is Luke chapter 22 and verse 31. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold. Satan had desired to sift you that he may sift you as wheat. All right. So this devil's, you know, uh, well, not this devil Esau Edom, but the left hand uh, counterpart. All right. Satan. All right. He's going to bring many different things right before us that's going to what? Try our reins. All right. Try our inward parts. Try to see if we are what? Fully rooted. All right. Fully rooted in the faith. All right. And scripture says this. Let me get it. We must remain unmovable, all right? We must remain unmovable within the faith that we have in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? The scriptures speak about what holding fast on to this truth, all right? Makes me think about uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, how wisdom and, will, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, okay? So he, he's going to, you know, try to bring forth, uh, you know, distractions with uh, uh, women, you know, that, that, that uh, lavish lifestyle, all right, these certain doctrines, all right, the uh, worldly validation, all right, even your job, your job can, uh, you know, drive you away from this truth if you let it, you know, if you're giving too much time to, you know, anything else other than this truth, all right, which is, you know, daily necessities and things that we have to do because what well, we are here in captivity, but our number one job is to what uh, push this truth. All right, it is to fear Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. Is to continue to give warning. All right, this is First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse fifty-eight. It says, "Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord." All right, we can ultimately use the scripture to combat, you know, whatever Satan has, uh, you know, to throw our way, you know. Every day, well, we're, we're always in, uh, you know, holy conversation, all right, talking to the the Akim, all right, being exhorted, you know, constantly going over scriptures, all right, uploading videos, going out to the highways and hedges, edifying, dealing with demons, right? These are uh, uh, consistent things that we must, you know, keep within our inward parts to know that what? We are constantly working, all right, the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? So we can't let the cares of this world you know, drive us away, you know, out of understanding, okay? You're going to have women nagging, all right, and a lot of things, too. You're going to, hey, man, we here in this captivity, we will be subject to loss, all right? What did Apostle Paul say? I always bring the scripture out. This is Apostle Paul, Philippians chapter 1, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not 1, it might be a 2. Let me see real quick. Probably two or three. Yep. This is Philippians chapter three and verse eight. It says, Yea, doubtless I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh my Lord. You see? For the simple fact that where we are the ones that possess this truth through through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh Shim Yahushai. You know? Scripture speak about what uh fret not the evil doer. You see these nick these, these wicked niggas in the world. All right, not fearing Yahweh Shimei Shai, right? Uh, getting riches by deceit, 
constantly prospering, right? But what all of their riches and things which they lay their heart and hand to is going to come to naught, all right? But us, what, we, we've been given a, a incorruptible inheritance, all right? We've been given this truth. We've been given the escape route, okay? So the things that they strive and fight for is going to come to a naught within that great hour, okay? But what, we have a, a what, a... Um, everlasting kingdom, an eternal kingdom, an eternal rulership to look forward to. Okay, it says, "For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win of my shiat." You see, so the hell with the cares in the affairs of this world. All right, because they can't amount up to what has been given unto us. All right, and these are things that you know we must constantly know. You know, we constantly catch hell because, like I said, man, Satan desired to get us up, up out of this truth, you know, because what, we're the defenders of the gospel. We're the ones that uh, stand stiffly for the name and the way sake of Yahweh Shimei al Shai. You know, no matter what, no matter what we lose, at the end of the day, we're still edifying the flock. We're still serving Yahweh Shimei al Shai. We're still applying the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, all right, in everyday life as far as being brothers, Right, bringing forth charity, all right, admonishing uh, the Akim, you know, uplifting one another, even when we're down. Guess what? Through the word, we're able to lift up the next man, you know, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, nothing in this world can amount to, uh, to what the Lord has given us. The Lord has opened up our eyes so that what we can see the truth, He's opened up our ears so that we can understand. The, uh, his, his holy doctrine. All right. This is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 22. It says, He that also receive he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hear the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he become it unfruitful. You see, we must look at what Yahweh Shah was faced with himself, you know. Right, Satan uh, brought him to the, the pinnacle, right, and told him, "Look, I can give you all of these things." But he said, "What man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High?" You see, this is the faith, this is the mindset that we must have approaching that finish line. All right, let's get this in the NLT. It says, "The seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word." But all too quickly, the message is crowded. We cannot let the message of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai get crowded, right? By having your woman nag, by having, you know, uh, financial things come your way, by, by having certain losses or certain sicknesses or illness, all right? At the end of the day, the, the Yahweh Hashem Yahshai's will is going to be fulfilled, okay? It says, but... All too quickly, the message is crowded out by the worries. We cannot be worried. The scriptures say, "What well, cast all your care unto uh, 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 you, Shai. Right? The Lord said, "Well, take no thought for tomorrow, for ye ye know not what uh, uh, tomorrow shall bring, as far as food, clothing, right, so forth and so on." But He said, "What well, because ye are my servants, right? Are ye not more better than than, than the ravens?" All right, so, hey, man, we're going to always be taken care of, all right? It says, uh, the worries of this life and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced, you see? So as long as we have our mindset toward Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, there will be more fruit, all right? There will be what the, the fruit that's meat for repentance that's ultimately what going to uh, remain where it needs to be, and that's in the fold, okay? That's in the fold. Okay, let's get this real quick. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. You know, I'm going to start at 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness. Let's get this word hardness. All right? Because then it's true we're going to suffer. All right? And the scriptures speak about that in Revelation 2 and 26. He that endured until the end, the same shall be saved. We're the ones that's looking to be saved by what? Accepting whatever comes with this territory. All right? Hardship. A hardness, it says, to suffer, to endure evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted, all right? And the, and the number one uh, affliction is going to ultimately uh, start inwardly, all right, within the mind, okay? 
that uh, inward agitation, okay? We're going to be troubled. It says to undergo hardship, right? But through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah, we're going to overcome these hardships, right? By what? Having a sound mind because the Lord didn't give us the, the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. So wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, is going to direct us through every uh, course, all right? Through, through every, uh, uh, not destination, but, but every um, uh, pathway, you know? It says to suffer trouble, right? So back again, 2 Timothy 2 and 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that ward entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. So we must please Yahweh Shai, okay? We must please our Lord Yahweh Shai, Right? He's going to be the one that comes and, and, and delivers us. But yeah, you have a lot of jakes that don't want to give our Lord their reverence, right? This is Psalms 20, 11. It says, serve the, more, the Lord, Yahweh, with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, meaning what? Submit, okay? Make peace with Yahweh Shai. It says, least he be angry and ye perish from the way, right? The more we make peace with Yahweh Shai, all right? The more, the more we call upon Yahweh Shah, the more we, you know, we, we, we get acquainted with our Lord, the more he becomes, what, pleased with us, all right, to where he can bring forth our case to the Heavenly Father, to where he can plead for us, to, to, to where he's going to remain our advocate, okay? It says, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him, not putting their trust in the cares of this world, not putting their trust in their wo in, 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 in our woman, our women, not putting trust in the uh, the riches and the money that you get from this job. No, putting our trust in Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay? Because through the Lord all transactions are enabled. <laughs> okay? Only through the Lord. Everything that goes on in, in this place is, is uh, uh, directed of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay? And that's what the world doesn't understand. The world doesn't understand that, you know, there is no free will. Which the, the lots that we have been entrusted to, right? The lots that we have been entrusted to, we have been ordered to do the Heavenly Father's bidding. Okay? Ephesians 1 and 13, it says, In whom ye have also trusted... After that ye have heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. All right. Now let's get this in the NLT. It says now and now you Gentiles have also heard the truth. You see. And the Gentiles right here. Right? It's what? Speaking of the Israelite foreigners. All right? The Israelites that have been scattered. Right? As it speaks about in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. I will not have you ignorant, but what? Ye once were Gentiles. Okay? So the Gentiles, right, which are the Israelite foreigners, have heard of the truth, the good news that saves us. Right? Now let's get that. Isaiah 61 and 1. Okay? Let's see what this good news consists of. All right. So we're, we're we're ordered to take heed to the good news and put our trust in the good news rather than the cares of this world. All right. Because what you see it. Right. Well, according to Second Peter, the third chapter, the things that we see are temporal. All right. They shall all melt with fervent heat. All right. But that which our Bashim Shah has given us. Right. is going to endure forever. OK. This is Isaiah 61 and 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, is upon me because the Lord Yahweh hath anointed me to preach good tidings. The right? Look in the NLT to bring good news to the poor. All right? This is who the Lord has entrusted his word with. All right? The poor. Because the poor it, it isn't going to be, uh, you know, easily given over to the cares of this world. The, the poor are going to be subject to fighting. All right? It says, and unto the meek, it says, he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives in the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Why? Because for the simple fact, those that are entangled with the cares of this world, they don't want to get up out of this prison. All right. They don't want to uh, uh, have a, a, a eternal uh, uh, life. All right. 
They don't want to have in a kingdom that's going to be here forever where they're going to be the rulers of it. They want to constantly what? Submit to Esau, Edom, and this beast system. Okay? They don't want to. But the Lord's elect, right? Lord willing, we be of that number. Hey, our mindset is going to be totally fixed upon, right? Yahweh Shimei Al Shai and what? The deliverance to come. All right? Because we understand that nothing in this place can deliver us. All right? This is 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right? You can't get caught up into, you know, this social media and seeing, you know, everyone so-called living their lives. Right? They're not living. Why? For the simple fact that what? Their spirits are not quickened. They don't have this truth. But you have the truth. Okay? The Lord have allowed you to receive of his truth. So you don't have to be like the world, nor be... You know, a partaker of the destruction to come. Right? So what? Do not get entangled. Satan is going to bring these things, you know, to your front door. But what? You have to be able to shut it out with the wisdom and understanding that have been given. All right? And that's the whole reason why we're in the process, right, of uh, girding up our loins. All right? Uh, obtaining more faith in the Lord. Okay? It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And that excludes the whole world. Okay? That, that excludes the, the, these women that's out here. These, these uh, poo shiesty jakes. You know, the love and the care uh, and the affairs of this world, right? It's totally set in their hearts. So that means that what? The Heavenly Father is far away from them. Okay? Verse 16, it says, for all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. And we're subject to what? Walking after the spirit. All right. This, this is what the, the life. This is a lifestyle of corruption. All right. That's why it tells us in Micah 2 to arise and depart for this is not our rest. It will destroy you with the sword destruction. Right. It says the pride of life. Right. The so-called that the luxurious lifestyle, you know. Which is not wrong to have nice things, but when you begin to put your trust and that's all you're about, that's all your speech is about, right? That only means that the Lord is getting, uh, you know, the, the spirit of the Lord is departing away from you, okay? It says the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world, right? Let's get this in the NLT verse 16. It says, for the world offers, <laughs> for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, you see, a physical pleasure, and we, we, one thing that we understand and know about physical, physical pleasures, they don't last long, all right? It's only there for a moment, a craving. Even when you have a craving with certain type of foods, you're only eating that taste for the moment. After you finish that meal, guess what? That taste isn't regarded anymore, you know? You fool, and now you're ready for the next thing, right? It says a craving for everything we see, Right? Which is totally set after the mindset of this devil, all right? A craving for everything you see. And that's why it's a great advertisement that has been pushed throughout America. But these bullshit holidays, these, uh, uh, that, that, uh, 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 Saint, uh, with that, uh, Valentine spirit, you know, showing you the rings and the flowers and the hotel rooms, you know? Advertising these things for what? For the moment to keep you lost and to keep you away from your power. All right. It says in the pride of our achievements. So even achievements. Jake's bo Jake boasting achievements. Right. But the scripture says what? The Lord will look at no man's greatness. The Lord will not be at all at no man's greatness. You see? The Lord will only keep the, uh, the, uh, the elect in regard. You know? For what? They, they are uh, those that stand stiffly and push out his word. Okay. Prophesied the downfall of this wicked kingdom, looking for that righteous kingdom to come. All right. It says, and pride in our uh, achievements and possessions. These are not from the father, but are from this world. You see? And we are not of this world. Let's get that. John, uh, first John three. Ah, Lord, we're in the connection. Okay. This is 1 John 3 and 1. It says, Behold, what man of love had the had the fought so like it, what man of love the Father had bestowed upon us, right? That remnant, 
right? The remnant to escape. It says that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore, the world knoweth us not. So although, you know, these people strive, you know, to have the most women, to have that, that, that certain lifestyle, right? To get that worldly validation from, from uh, their peers or their family, you know, to get the, the Instagram likes, right? Guess what? It says, therefore, the world know it does not. So the world still doesn't know you. The world still doesn't love you. All right. Because from the beginning, the Lord chose you to what? Fight the good fight of faith. So no matter how much you try to blend in and be a part of the world, guess what? The Lord had pulled us from this. Right. But one thing about Yahweh Bashim Shai, if he, hey, the scriptures speak about how what? He is a jealous power. So the Lord sees you, you know, be consumed with the excess of wanting these things. The Lord will give you over to it. You see? But it says what? Therefore the world know it does not because it knew him not. Right? So you want to, you know, uh, be given over to those things. Well, guess what? When, If so, the Lord will give you over to that. And when he make his return, guess what? He's not going to find you favorable. All right? He's not going to uh, find you uh, 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 faithful. Okay? He's not going to find you acceptable in his eyes. Okay? Let's get this one in the NLT too. It says, see how very much our father loves us, right? So we got to embrace what the Lord gave us because he didn't uh, bestow this upon everyone in the world. Only the precious elect have received of this truth, okay? It says, for he calls us, us, you see, he calls us his children. And that this is what we are. We are the children of Yahweh Bashim Shai, And we are what? Ordered by our heavenly father's rule, Okay? In his order and what he wants. Okay. It says, but the people who belong to this world don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know him. You see? So the world will never accept you because they never accepted our Lord. They never accepted our heavenly father. Okay. So the hell with the validation from the world, man. We're looking to be uh, what pleasing in the eyesight of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right. So when Satan getting to throw these things your way, right, we must constantly call the scriptures, right, and have them to our heart, laid to our heart. All right. Scriptures speak about that in Romans 8. Nothing shall what? Uh, 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 let me get it. Nothing shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach. Right. We must remember these things and what keep it laid to our heart. All right. Because we are in, in, in very, very serious times. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 8 and uh, verse uh, 38. You know what? I'm going to start at verse 37. It says, Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. You see? So nothing shall separate us if we are of the Lord's elect. Right? But we must constantly what? Put on that armor. Put on that faith. Okay? And walk like the men that Yahweh Bashim Shai created us to be. We can only be ourselves in this truth. All right? You can't be the next man. You have to be who the Lord Right, uh, 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 created you to be, all right. Especially if you have this truth, you know. So with that, Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying as always. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakudash, the Blind City Elders and the Apostles of Great Millstone, the Root and Teach Well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the Lord's elect, whoever they may be, that have been scattered, pushing this truth, and sincerity, and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.